Hi, I'd like to rectify free energy. It's one of the hot topics between electronic enthusiasts. There are many demonstrations built by people out there, such as this guy from Pakistan, who invented such machine with 1.6 million video views. Electric companies hate him, mainly because he's wearing huge sunglasses indoors. He has a motor and a generator coupled mechanically with a heavy freewheel to store some energy. He first powers the motor to get the wheel up to speed and then connects the generator power back into the motor. Then the system can sustain its motion and generate even more energy to power other devices. Here is his contact if you want to get cancer. Don't trust the first guy? Here's the second one with one and a half million views. Designed a similar machine by drilling a bunch of holes in some metal scraps and can power many things using his free energy device. And another guy with six and a half million views. Okay, what we have here is a motor generator unit. I'm gonna turn on the unit. I'm going to switch over the unit to the generator source itself. We're going to unplug from the AC, simply laying that over here. Trying to is working. I know those guys look sketchy, but not this Asian guy with his giant minion. Such a clean setup and well made device, outputting so much energy. They even have a fundraiser asking for $300,000 to bring safe and free energy to everyone. See, a free energy device would contradict the laws of thermodynamics which apply to any closed system, such as our universe. But according to their page, if you can agree that the world is made up of closed systems and open systems, then you should be open to the possibility magnets could be a way to funnel energy from the quantum world to the physical world. And that's the power of agreement. Our goal is to create CO2 free power at 2 cents per kilowatt hour and create wealth, wealth, wealth. Nevertheless, let me show you my version. As my generator, I'm using a DC motor I took from a drill and I've connected it to this tiny fan so you can see when I turn the motor, it generates electricity that turns the fan. Now I have two motors here that are coupled to each other through this gearbox. This one acts as the generator and that one is the motor and they are electrically connected to each other. Now what happens is that as soon as I turn the gearbox, the generator turns and makes electricity and outputs it to the motor which starts turning. Now the speed of the motor is amplified by 10 times through this gearbox that turns the generator faster, making more electricity and turning the motor faster. So the system can go on forever. Let's give it a try. There we go. I can even turn on my fan if I connect to the output of the generator. But you see that the speed of the system drops because my fan draws energy from the system. Yeah, I was running it from my lab power supply because there is no free energy device. There is no free energy device. It's impossible. This thing would have to have an efficiency of over 100%. It would make energy out of nowhere. Every single free energy device you see on the web is fake as or fab for short. There is no blueprint of free energy devices governments are hiding from us. Tesla was never able to capture cosmic energy with his tower to power the world. It's impossible. Nikola Tesla believed he had tapped into what he called radiant energy. Many scientists believe he was accessing what's now called free energy. No, he didn't! See, Tesla was a genius with one main goal, trying to transfer power wirelessly to power the world, which is possible to some extent, but not to the scale Tesla was hoping for. And he definitely didn't tap into some free cosmos energy. You know the resonance frequency of a Tesla coil is somewhere in the order of hundreds of kilohertz to around a megahertz. And there are thousands of electrical engineers like myself all around the world that every day measure the electromagnetic interferences and noises in the environment. All the way from tens of kilohertz to a few gigahertz. And you know what we measure? Nothing! In that vast spectrum of frequencies Except for the weak radio frequencies and noises we put in the environment, we measure nothing significant enough that can power anything. 
It's breathing. It's taking in the energy of space literally and transforming it. Bullshit. But maybe how about this dignified man who designed such a device and is presenting it in a university in front of all those professors? There is no free energy device! This guy is faff. He only opens his motor halfway for demonstration. I'm sure he is hiding his batteries in the compartment he left closed. But Mr. Electroboom, this video has 21 million views! Surely this can't be faff. A bunch of magnets glued on fan blades and another magnet can make them turn. Once again, okay. Here. And make even more energy to turn on a light bulb. And I put it off, it's not lighting. Especially since many other people copied the same design successfully. Vous voyez le moteur tourne? Oh god. De toute façon, je vais vous le faire voir, voilà. Regardez. Donc là, je vais mettre en route l'interrupteur. If you listen closely, you will realize that most these people have some sort of accent. Go on, tipo, je pas l'éclairer. And you know what it means? They can't be trusted. Why do you think people copy this shit? Because they want to get views. Trust me when I say there is no free energy device. You trust me, right? Do you? Huh? Mm. Huh? Mm. Oh. I can show you some sh**. Have you watched my butt light video where a guy turns on a light bulb through his butt cheeks? I talked to the guy. He is a magician and that was a gimmick light bulb he was using. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure this light is the same one way or another. But Mehdi, how about... Stop it! 10 million views for a bunch of wires and magnets that can forever provide power? Now I should thank some other channels that reveal these tricks, like... Vida M. Silecio, that shows how a pair of almost invisible, very thin wires can be used to power the lamp. Or Maker J101 showing that the motor is made of a smaller motor and a battery pack hidden in a larger motor case. Motor. It's just simply two coin cell batteries and then there's a small motor in there. So of course the link to all these videos is in my video description. Because there is no free energy device. Don't be fooled by this faff hoax. All these people are trying to ride the views this faff gets. Or trying to sell you some bullshit kit that will never work. Now there are free energies out there. Wait, wait, before you call me a hypocrite, it's all a matter of definition. See, a free energy device generates energy out of nowhere, consumes nothing, and therefore it contradicts the physics laws of thermodynamics. But free energy is any energy around us that's readily available to use, like solar, chemical, nuclear. Water and wind power, or oil and gas, are really different forms of solar power because they are the solar energy that's stored on the face of Earth in different forms. I love the sun. Come to think of it, even the source of solar energy is nuclear power. So nuclear power is pretty much the mother of all energies around us. And that's why Iran should have access to nuclear power. <laughs> I don't know man, I am a little bit concerned about that too. Not because they may make bombs, I don't think they will. Just that if there are more of me back in Iran, they would probably have a few core meltdowns before they get it right. Now, I don't deny that there can be a new source of energy available through multi-dimensional spaces of cosmos, quantum, cosmic mumbo jumbo. There is definitely a lot of stuff we haven't discovered about our universe. But if such a thing exists, it must be repeatable, reputable, scientifically explainable, explainable and there must be a source and reason behind it i asked free energy inventor adam trombley why he thought this technology was being suppressed and if the ufo phenomenon was related that's the bottom line the suppression of ufo phenomena is hand in hand with the suppression of so-called free energy oh god if you claim that you have designed such a device and it's possible let me take a look at it but let me warn you I will crush you and your fake design. If it is a fake design, that is. So I guess you don't have anything to worry about, do you?